Hey there guys, my name is Adrian Brenner, welcome to Modded Minecraft. It's going to be Modded Minecraft Season 1. Um, I'm currently going to be using Modded Minecraft as my main series name. So we're going to go S1, and we're going to put a bonus test in, and we're going to put Sim U Craft as our main seed. I'm going to spell it, spell it the way the mod isn't spelt, because it's spelt with a K for craft and um, so we're going to do it that way now just a brief overview of sinew craft um, sinew craft is a mod where you as a player control these npcs which can build for you they can farm for you they can mine for you they can guard places for you they can kill stuff so we're going to be using that as one of the main series things so you can see here that it says please use the game mode for sinew craft I'm going to go with hardcore mode, which requires all the blocks Welcome for to the Welcome to SimuCraft. So you can see here that it's in it's in a beta at the moment, SimuCraft is. So we've got our little chest here. Perfect. We've got some tree tops, which is going to be useful and for industrial craft. And we've got some dark craft items. And we also have... Oh, we also have a population of three, which is... Weird because it looks like Simunicraft is getting the NPCs from some of my other test worlds, which isn't so bad because we start with more NPCs than we usually would. Right, so let's have a look around here. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get some of these trees over here and then I'm going to kill a couple of sheep. Now I have got a tr tree capitator slash timber mod installed, but that is going to get removed after this episode as i feel it's a little cheaty and we are going to use magnet mode throughout this series i hope people don't mind but that's a just a thing that i like to use i'm kind of used to it now um because i've been playing for the last couple of days on myself using that and it's kind of hard to not use it now that i'm so used to it okay and plus it's kind of cool it's slightly cheaty but kind of cool Okay, so we've got them there, and we're going to get a bunch of sticks for now. And we're going to build ourselves a sword, so we can go and kill these sheep. There we go. So we've got ourselves a normal sword, and we'll go to kill these guys over here. And while I'm here, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make another crafting table, and a another single chest. Uh, so we can get started in Sinew Craft, right? And then I'm also going to make a pickaxe because I need some cobblestone so we can get started. There we go. Right, so let's get rid of this block, get ourselves three pieces of wood so we've got enough for, for a bed. Got a couple of chickens around here and I think we're going to use that ice place over there as our building area slash starting area. Okay, so let's get free wool. And then we'll dive straight into this mod. So, clay, good. Okay, so we've got a bit of clay there. And I'm going to want to get myself about five pieces of cobblestone. So we've got some cows there. So I'm going to kill one of these for now. Um, Did he drop some meat? Yeah, okay. Right, and I'm going to get rid of some of the sand. And I want to dig down a little bit, just so I can get some cobblestone. There we go. I need about 10 pieces of cobblestone. Okay, so we've got some our uh, first copper ore there. We're going to be doing a branch mine for most resources. But we're going to be getting the simulacraft craft people to do this. So for now, I'm just going to take out a load of cobblestone. And there we go. And I'm also going to need a bunch of dirt on me as well. About two stacks maybe. And that should be enough, I feel, for now. Okay, so let's grab these blocks. How many have we got? Just nearly a stack. And I can see some marble, which is from Chisel. Chisel is a mod which uh, allows you to shape all the, all the materials in the world into different objects. Just to put it nice and short. So we said we wanted to build in this uh, ice, icy biome place. What well, do you want to build on here? I think for now, 
we will build our area here. So let's just remove some of these blocks. Okay, some of that, some of that. So you can see that we have Darkcraft installed. There we go. So let's just get rid of those, these, some of these blocks so we have plenty of seeds. And that was a little lag spike there. But we should be okay for now. So there we go. What's the FPS at? I can't see because of that. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll get ourselves a nice crafting mm. table. And then we'll make one of the first things that we're going to need to use within this mod. Within this, uh, yeah, within SimuCraft itself. So the first thing we're going to need is a Simu, Simu Constructor, I think. Simu Constructor Box. So there we go. So there's one Simu Constructor Box. We're going to need a chest. Right, so we're going to place the Simu Constructor Box Simu right craft there. Building constructor activated. So you can see that it's activated like it's just told us. We're going to want a higher builder. And we've got Ed B. Jux. For some reason, it's giving us a population of three when there's only one. Okay, because the population of two was in another world. So for some reason, the cross platform, but don't worry about that. I'll talk to the mod owner about that. Please choose, it, please choose a building which I should build. Well, one of the normal things that you would build is a um, something to do with crops. So. Um, what we'll do first is actually we'll get this guy to build a residential house and I'm gonna go with him building a and only build the ones by Scatscape, don't I? Mm -hmm. Stackable wooden house. Brick metal house, easy cottage. Um let's build a easy cottage. Mm. Thin glass. What the hell's thin glass? Thin glass? What the hell's thin? I don't know what that is. Okay, I think thin glass he means the panes. Um Should we build an igloo? Okay, it needs bookshelves. We can't really build that. Let's go for a townhouse A. Oh, that needs a lot too. Block of iron? Why do you need a block of iron? Two bedroom house? Well, that needs a lot. Okay, so... Okay, so that's quite a challenge actually for a start. So, we need 63 stone brick, bricks, some glass, 31 planks, 4 ladders, Eight torches, fifteen wool, and one stone. Okay, so you can see that it's got we got a free stone slab from somewhere, and this guy's going to start building. So we need eight torches, we need fifteen wool, one stone slab, which is there, uh, for eighty-one planks, which we can get the planks in right now. We need fifteen glass, so we got that. We need some stone bricks. So I say, what we do is we make ourselves some tools here. So we're going to make ourselves two pickaxes. Right? There we go. There we go. Right? We're going to make ourselves a furnace. I'm going to cut down a load of trees um, from yeah. over there, probably. And I'm going to get myself a load of charcoal. And I'm probably going to go down and start strip mining. Um, yeah, so I'll start. I'll go down, start strip mining, get a load of cobblestone. So we can get our stone bricks and get this guy building. So that's our main focus for this episode is getting this guy's house built. Right, so I'm going to get onto that. I know I need wool, so I'm going to need a bit of iron so I can use some shears. And uh, yeah, I'll cut back. I'll do some di different cuts while we're doing some work. And then we'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm just down in this cave, just uh, mining, mining out a couple of things, trying to get some items ready so I can get some of the wool and required items. Now you can see this is the new industrial craft all, well not new, but it's a uh, copper all, it's a different texture for me than it used to be. So that's the that's the copper all that we got there. Now we have this all here called power all. Now this is added by Darkcraft, which I'm sure many will know who played who played Feed the Beast with 1.52. And these guys are called 
force gems and they're also known as a golden power source by the that's what the mod maker says if you've watched any of blue dots um any uh, of his series with his mod why he was making it and you know how he made it um then you should you should watch that it's really funny it's actually funny and you actually learn a hell of a lot more about the mod than just reading three pages yeah so i'm probably going to be watching now about five times over but as you can see, we've got some of these ores, we've got some Applied Energistics ore, and I've actually been getting a lot more Applied Energistics ore than I usually get. So you can see here that I have 10 of these already, uh, 12 iron ore. Now the reason that I was kind of excited for getting these guys, if we look at uses, you can see that you've got mob in it. Now I'll explain that in future, but they're... Minium stone and four gives you six. Oh, that's good. I've got a mod that um, basically gives more and get recipes. All right, so I want to make some of these. I could do it this way, which is good because I want to make a force furnace, and for that I'm going to need five force ingots. So how about I do a little bit more mining, see if I can find some more than force gems, and get back to you when we start mining the other stuff out no sorry when we start to get that furnace going and uh, finish off that house so i'm going to be doing little steps here and there but the main thing is getting that house built so you know the sim has a place to live and then we'll start earning rent off him and then eventually we'll get him um, doing some jobs for us okay guys so we'll be, i'll be right back after a bit of duck done a bit more cave and I want to try to get down to diamond level before I go back up but I haven't got much space so I'll be back in a sec guys where hopefully we get that house built see you in a sec okay guys I am now back at the base just sleeping until morning oh there we go there we go so the hens are the hens are uh, making noises <laughs> I couldn't think of the word oh, oh, zombie <laughs> There we go, right. Um, do we have any food on us? No. Okay, so we'll do that, that. And we'll keep some of that chicken and we'll get some of these uh, lovely cooked pork chops in our system. Right, so one of the first things we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have a look in applied energistics because I don't know if the grindstone is still in the mod. So we need, yes it is, we need something called a wooden crank. So we need a bit more planks. I'm going to make them into sticks. And then we need something called this wooden crank. So we need one of them. And then we need something called the grindstone, which we're going to be using at the start. Oh, we need nether quartz or certus quartz. We've got certus. Okay, so we're going to need a gear. Where's our sticks? So there's a buildcraft gear there. There we go. Let's go back to the grindstone because I want to get this house finished today. Okay, so there's grindstone. So what you do with the grindstone, you place your grindstone down. You can see it has an inventory. So there you go. It's got three inventories there. So you've got some iron ore. Now what you want to do is what you want to do is just hold this right mouse button just for a little bit. And then we'll see if we can get some iron from it. There we go. So you can see we've got two iron dust already. Now we're going to need, I believe we're going to need six iron dust. Okay, so that's done. Uh, yeah, you can carry on. There we go. And then we can get, then we can get some iron dust and we can get ourselves a force furnace. And I'll show you a couple of things with the force furnace, but we're not going to go too far into it until the future. So I'm just having a look at that thing over there just to see what exactly we need. We need some wool. Glass, stone bricks, okay. So what have we got? We've got six now. We've got eight, sorry. So we're gonna put these eight in here. So we need some we need some of them. Let's get rid of some of these eggs that we have. Okay, so we've got one out of them. So we're getting quite lucky. So I'll just hold this down for a little bit while I get some more iron. So we've only got one at the moment. It's kinda slow, isn't it? Now the good thing about force furnaces I'm gonna explain before I go on and get the whole thing of this ready and then we'll watch it build um, is the fact that they store their energy within fuel value so if you put coal in there it will store the value of that coal for how many pieces it can burn and I believe when you had different upgrades to that furnace it will do more cooking and it will get faster 
or it'll get it'll do more for what it's worth and it'll be faster or you know it'll cost slightly more but it'll be a lot faster something like that so always always uh, gonna be a bit more efficient doing it that way so how many dust have I got now 16 okay I know you need what and we're probably gonna make some full shears uh, eventually and I do need some obsidian but that isn't gonna come for a while until we get really into dark craft because we do need to get ourselves situated first here because I want to get all my sugar cane and everything automated by these villagers guys okay so our crankshaft is gone um, there we go we've got eight of these iron ingots okay now we want to get these iron ingots and we want to simply wrap, wrap them with some force gems now one of the starting items I'm going to build is some shears and then the second item the most important for me is going to be this furnace so there we go nice pretty furnace so let's say we wanted this guy to be uh, white what we'll do here is we'll place our force phoenix and we'll uh, no that's wrong how do we do this now I believe two seconds let's just have a look you want this one painter okay so we need some wool first and some iron okay so let's use our four shears and we'll get ourselves a painter and i'll show you what you can do with these painters so let's get a load of this oh we can also shear cows to get leather there we go there we go and we can also shear chickens to get feathers oh it's give us an egg as well okay so let's go over here and we'll get ourselves a load of a uh, load of wool off these and you can see I've got the mode on where it's going to suck all the items up I'm going to need some sugar cane in the future so why don't we get some of this and we'll get rid of a block we don't need there we go or an entity right so let's get some more wool from these guys so there we go so you can see we've got, we've got some beehives there but we're going to need in the future so we've got six wool right now and I believe I need these 16 so it's going to be quite a lot of shearing to do and a lot of finding sheep so hopefully we can find a lot or else we're stuffed until we get a nice sheep farm going which we'll do when we start bottling uh, some of these sheeps, sheep up and getting them into a farm area so we see all the sheep around here ok so we've got, we've got 12 now and I need 16 for that um, I need 16 for the building and I need, was it free for the painter? Okay, so that there. And get this sheep over here mm. and the cow. So we can shear cows, which is awesome. So we do that. Yes, I know you need more wool. I've nearly got it all. I only need three. So hopefully we'll get lucky on this guy. If we don't, we'll have to go shear some more. There we go. We did get lucky. But we've got this guy here as well that we can shear. Cool. Okay. So, let's make this painter, shall we? So, painter. So, it's logistics. Lapis transport pipe. Okay. Painter, we need two iron. So, we can get rid of that zombie flesh. Okay. And we're going to get the painter here there we go so there's a painter okay so painter and bone meal makes it a white painter so these are the IC2 painters and then you can there you go so that is now painted white so we can put that in there and we can put one wool in there and then we'll put some of our crap in there for now so let's show you this force furnace and what exactly it can do so let's just get some of this stuff that we don't need in our inventory right now we don't need the spruce we don't need that and we don't need that right oh we don't need this we do need this right so force furnace we have this fuel here so you can see here that it has a little arrow saying fuel so what we're going to do is we're going to put this here 
then we're going to give it something to cook, right? Now, if we get a chest, which I'll show you how it's done. Chest, and um, actually, let's see if we can make a dark craft chest. They're generally a lot better. Storage. Now, these are like iron chests, if you didn't know what these are. Grey storage unit, so it's just stone. Just stone, really? How did I get how did I get thirty two stone? How did I get thirty two stone? I'm confused. Did I mine it with these? Did these give you no, I'm confused. Right, okay, I'll just do it anyway. Okay, so grey. There we go. So we've got a grey storage unit. And what we can do again is we can place him here. And what this machine will do is it'll auto output into this. So you can put a hopper here and then it'll go bang straight into that. Right, so Let's make ourselves a little automated system. Nothing too crazy, but it's going to work and it's going to be cool. So there we go. Let's get some of these hoppers. So we're going to need one hopper, so we're going to need a chest. And then we're going to need iron. So there we go. There's a hopper. And I'm going to shift click this onto here. And you can do the same for fuel. So if you want your fuel going from the side, so you can see here, if you want your fuel going from the side, it'll put there. So we're going to do that there. That's going to go. And then what this is going to do is auto output into here. So let's get, give this guy some material. So he wanted he wanted 15 glass and he wanted 15 wool. So 15 glass, 15 wool. And then he wanted um, eight torches. We have nine on us, so we'll give him them. So, and then he wanted glass. Stone bricks, ladder. So he just needs ladders and stone bricks. Okay. So that's cooking away there. So we've got a stone there somehow. So we need stone bricks. So that's going to give us, what, 36? There you go. So we can start carrying it like that. And we'll also shear some more of these sheep. Right, let's sleep again. Don't know how long I've been recording for. So I'm going to try and get this wrapped up. So I'm going to wait until he's built the house and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, looks like I'm having a bit of a mod integration problem with Chisel and um, Simicraft. You see how it's here? It says here, waiting for a stone brick. Well, this says stone brick. S stone brick smooth, right? So, if I go and remove this mod, I bet this will start working. Watch and see. I'll be right back. So, he was searching. Okay, now he needs cobblestone. He didn't say that before, so he said he needs one stack of cobblestone. Okay. Uh, can't see the number there. 63 cobblestone. I thought he said he needed bricks. He said he needed stone bricks before. Now it's saying cobblestone. Maybe that was just some integration with this was confusing it, so we didn't even need that. We could have got this done so much faster. But we'll use this in the future anyway. Right, so this is still doing this cobblestone here, which is getting fed by that. Okay, I'm going to take these out for now because I don't know if they're going to be used. So they can go there, and I'm also going to put these oars there. So there's going to be our first house. So it's going to be a two-story house, right? So it looks like it's a so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we go from here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as on this one. Okay, right. Next project. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to make it exactly the same house again. Right. So, we're going to want a sinew constructor. Okay, so we just need a crafting table. Sorry about the cow in the background, but he's a noisy. I know. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to need a chest. Remember what I said, you always need a chest next to this, so we're going to place here, here, 
Sim you craft building constructor activated. We've got no more people here until this is done. And I don't think we think that we're 16 minutes. Hang on, no, is this two story? Oh, it's two story. Okay. So, when that's built, I can give them smart and they can do what I want to. It. I will put stone bricks in, I think. I might as well. There we go. I'll put stone bricks in that later on. Right. Tell you what I'm going to do. While this is happening, let's put this in here. And what we need to take with us? This and this. Uh, coal can go in there. So you can see it's reserved some fuel in there as well. Right, let's get rid of this feather. Okay, that. And then I want to make some pickaxes. So, do this. And this. There we go, stocked up, ready to go mining. I'll be back in a bit, guys, when that's done. And I'm going to go do some mining. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, heading back up from the mine. Let's go and have a look at the house that's been built. Just done a bit of strip mining. Found a little bit of iron, bit of tin, bit of lead, bit of copper. Just anything I ran into, really. And just checking out the levels of some mine for all. Oh, really just testing. What the bloody hell? Oh, he fell down. There we go. I was hoping he'd drop one of them hearts so I could show you. Well, let's test this out. Am I lagging? Nope. You can see there, I just got something which is basically a magic bag or something, like that, a magic rock or something. And it's basically for Darkcraft. Uh, when stuff uh, drops, like hearts and that, you can um, recuperate help with it. So let's see if we can get, it, get another one. And it uses uh, Zelda sounds or something, um, the equivalent to Zelda sounds. <laughs> There we go, so let's kill him. I just want to kill a couple of zombies because I want to. I don't know if I left it in the pack. Yes, I did. I want to show you something that I have in the mod pack as well. And I need to kill zombies to show you. It doesn't seem like there's too many mobs around here, so. I know there's a creeper there. Let's just go over here. Okay, so we've got a minimum shard. We're going to need these. Equivalent exchange free. Uh, that is by a guy who made the mod equivalency. He's put a load of recipes in there. So and he's also ported the 1.52 version of equivalent exchange to make it work with 1.64. Hello zombie. Hello zombies. <laughs> Oh! Lag then. How many zombie flash have we got? Three. I need another two. So let's go hunting again. Another zombie. Right, let's kill this galley first. I got no armor on, guys. So yeah. Not, combat seems a lot lot better than 1.6. Oh. There's freaking zombies everywhere. I don't know why. Why are zombies everywhere? It's like a zombie invasion. This is. Well, so you can see I've just got a heart a magic one. Every time I kill a freaking zombie, there's one comes. Are they all gone now? Yeah? Okay. Right. I can show you that then. Right, okay, let's get back to the base. And we'll make it day. And how many? Okay, I need another eight of them to so we can start using the minimum shard. But I will show you a lot of the recipes uh, in this video. I've got a sneeze coming on, and I hope I don't sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze, and I was just getting my hands ready to mute my mic. Right, let's sleep. And uh, see what rent we got today. Because he's moved in that house now. Okay, so we got 1.89 sim new credits and rent today from him. So we said we were going to upgrade this house into stone bricks. 
Doesn't look too bad for now, we'll leave it like that. So I need to go back. And I think I actually am going to add another mod into the current... Oh, we got a random drop. Into the current pack where we can basically... Um, yeah, we, we can basically um, get better storage. Better storage mod is basically called. <laughs> so yeah, right, let's kick it in this force engine. There we go. So that's gonna cook, and that's gonna cook into leather, which is cool, really, really cool. I probably should get one of these because it's got more than a single chance, not it? Oh no, it hasn't. Upgrade these here. It says Agent Bruno. Uh, storage units. Storage units can be upgraded with the upgrade to increase their storage capacity. I thought he was riding the sheet then. Right. So here, we'll stop this guy. Again, and we'll choose him to Hello. go. You're looking well. What did what was this one? Uh, was it a no wall starter house? No, 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 it wasn't. It was the it was a two story house by Statscape, wasn't it? Seven by six by ten. Build it. Yeah, so cobblestone, 63, it needs glass, it needs wool, it needs planks. So, planks. Right, let's get this going again, so we can get this done by next episode, then we haven't got to mess about with it. So, cobble, need some more planks, needs wool. Okay, so we can get the wool. I need a better storage solution, solution around here too. Here we can get cobblestone in there. We can get some more planks going. There we go. Right, let's go for some more sheep. Get some more uh, wool. Wondering. Get some more wool too. There we go. So yeah, guys, it's going to be a bit of a slow start to the series, but let me know if you enjoy seeing um, no. the slow parts. If you don't, then there'll be more of a wait in between episodes. I'm not going to say, um, you know, what days I'm releasing just yet, just because I want to see how much people are on, are enjoying the part with Sydney Craft in it. Um, I think it's going to hard. It's going to add a lot of uh, variety into the pack and I think it's going to generally make this mod a lot more fun because the things you can build in this are huge. You can build a, a monastery for instance. Where are they? Oh, there. Look, look. That's what they're called. Can you see that, guys? Did you see him? They're called, um, what do they call? The choo choos or something, or chuchas. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. I hope you saw him. If not, I'll pop into it. Uh, let me know if you saw them, guys. If not, I'll pop into a test world next day episode and show you them. Right, so he's got no wool. I need some more wool. So when we got, we'll start getting a lot more of these houses, it's just getting the material. So we'll build this next house, house, sorry, and then we'll start like building like the farm. So like I'm going to get a, a load of these sheep after the episode. Um, we'll get a lot of wheat farm going and things like that and just do a couple of basic things. Okay, so plenty of wool. Oh, there's a load of sheep over here. I'm going to shoot these guys. I've got to. I need the wool. Because I'm probably going to build maybe four of them houses. Because they're generally cheap and they're going to make rent for me. And that'll bring more people into this world eventually. Right, so let's get back to the base. I need to eat some chicken. And then we can make a move on. There we go. Let's 
go over here then. And I want to get a piece of lapis on these shears, or some new shears. And they will give you rainbow. And rainbow, what the rainbow effect does is it gives you a random piece, a random colour of wool. Right, so here we can get the wool in. Let's go get 16 sand. Come over here. And I believe if we get a grinding coal in that furnace, we can grind cobble into sand. Which is awesome. Because I'm going to have a lot of cobble when I start mining with four spits. It's going to be a lot faster than what it currently is now, but I need some diamonds first so I can get some obsidian. Let's get a load of this right now. Right, there we go, there we go. I don't want to show you all that on camera. Right, so we'll go back and uh, then I'll show you some of the some of our, our guy's uh, statistics uh, of how, what he, well, you know, of what, what he does. No, you don't know, but show it random. <coughs> right, sorry about that. Right, so let's go back to here, shear him. Why well, we've got to do nothing to do. Because we're just waiting for that thing to finish. <coughs> and I'm hoping... I'm hoping that eventually, eventually we got some more sims. There we go. Right, so we give him more wool, didn't we? Give him some ladders, we give him some glass. There we go, some more glass for him. Has he stopped building? Why didn't we even start it? I thought I started it. Okay, so which one was it? it? Was the I'll build that rave house soon. Actually, it was the two-story house by Scatscape. Cobblestone, ladders, glass, planks, torches. Okay. So let's get some more sticks. And we'll do that, and I'm going to turn this Minecraft music off because it's probably dead loud for you guys, but dead loud for me. And then we'll put these in there. Get some more glass. Put a glass in there. And then we'll check out his stats. So, when we right click him, you can see, uh, you know, what he is. If he's a tenant, if he's single, if he's at work, if he's building level. So, the higher you raise this, the better they become and the faster they will build. So, I'll be back in a second, guys, when he's built this, and then I think we'll leave it off for this, for this episode. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, that's the second house built. So, what I think we should do is we should get this guy building a little grocery store around the area just before we go and leave him on his cell for a little while. While the video gets uh, rendered and uploaded to YouTube for you guys to watch. Yeah. So, we've got a bit of land here. And we'll break this. Break this. There we go. So, we've got a second house now. And we still only have one guy. He's a little bit sad, but... I'm hoping that they'll come eventually... They should do. Um, if not, I'll have to contact the mod author. Sim U craft building constructor activated. Right, so hire a builder. We'll hire in. We'll choose a building. And we'll say commercial. We'll go for a grocery store. And it's 11 by 9. Hang on, what was the other one saying when we did it up here? Hang on, no, no, I need to have a look at the residential because I know from going off this one. So that was seven, okay, so it's eleven this way from one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just going to cut it short, so I'm going to move it to the side. Sim U craft building constructor activated. 
there we go and then we're going to build commercial and we're going to build a this it needs a mallon how the freaking hell am i going to get a mallon mm. a pumpkin it needs a what a mallon and a pumpkin how am i going to get a mallon and a pumpkin hmm interesting I wonder if it'll put the mullen in the pumpkin itself. What? Oh, it's building it that way. Um. Waiting for planks. Let's just see. We get it. We're getting planks. I'm going to planks, let's see what he does. I know he's going to build this way so I can build another one of these houses. Okay, so it's doing the planks. But it's saying it needs two chests. So I'll give it a chest. But it's also saying it needs a mallon and a pumpkin. If it needs that, I can find a pumpkin in, in the over there. But how do I get a melon? Right, let's have a quick look, like I say, before we end this episode. So... Melon. There must be another way we can get melon. Melon seeds, maybe? Is that it? Um, I'm going no minium. I need a stone. So I'm going purified white stone portal gun. Why would you keep portal guns? So let's just see. Okay, so this is all on this piece. We probably be getting best game this way. I need to see where the recipes are for seeds. There should be one for seeds. Oh, hang on. Cocoa beans are cut to screen. Um, I swear you can convert melon seeds into pumpkin seeds. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, resin to leather, <laughs> leather to resin, uranium to diamonds, uh, that to uranium, diamonds to uranium, redstone to force gems, that's good. Okay, so it's got the force recipes for these. Um, doesn't look like it has any normal recipes. From Malin, so it looks like I'm gonna have to find one, which is gonna be a bit of a pain if it doesn't convert them. Which it looks like it doesn't. That is a bummer. Right, so let me know if you can think of a way of I, I, that I can get an easy Malin seed, um, or else I can't build this, and this is what I need. So, oh, it needs one more chest. I'll make one more chest and then we'll leave it. And then we'll leave it for today, guys. But I need your comments, guys. So let me know what you think. As soon as I know what you think, I can then go and start the next one if you like it. I hope it doesn't need a mallet in the pumpkin. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down there in the Google Plus comments. Silly YouTube. And uh, yeah, follow me on Google Plus and follow me on Twitter. The link's in the description. And uh, remember to give it a, a Google Plus, uh, Plus thing. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.